and really think about what makes them distinct. I think I was hesitant at first to kind of like think about that as a, as a unique skill set, but really tasting um, whether it's Merlot or Pinot Grigio and really understanding like what makes it simple versus something that's got a lot more going on. And so um, I would say don't don't skim over that. Definitely spend a little time on it. That's excellent advice. Simple wines are known to show up on exams. You're not guaranteed to have one, but it's a good possibility that either your white or red may be simple, something with a lack of multiple distinct characteristics. And I agree, students tend to struggle with these wines because they're kind of boring and we don't drink them. So yes, understanding what they are and practicing with them is, is really good advice. Um, let's see, Elias, what would your advice be? I would say one thing that would throw me off sometimes, don't try to think about like the grape variety. So sometimes we tend to say, it sounds, it, it smells like Merlot and we start describing Merlot. And some, it, this will affect the way you're thinking. And you start almost, you know, sub, unconscious, subconsciously describing Merlot, the acidity of Merlot, the plushness, you know, the, the fruit profile. Think more, try to visualize the fruits. Okay, this is black fruit family. This is the yellow fruit or citrus family this is the you know peach and kind of family herbs try to think or visualize that not try to figure out what the grape let's say you say reasoning and start describing reasoning that will throw you off and will affect the way you're analyzing it and describing it i think this is one of the most things and don't second guess yourself a lot try to go for whatever your first impression is go for it and trust your gut feeling most of the time first impressions with wine are the most accurate <laughs> 